Hi and welcome to this DCP web tutorial. In today's tutorial we're going to be using some online compression tools, image compression tools, uh, to compress some images and we'll normally do this when we want to upload an image to our website. So I've got an image in this folder as an example, it's just a sample image and if I look at the image itself I can see that it's 571 kilobytes. So the image is almost half a megabyte in file size which is quite large um, although internet is running very fast nowadays it's always a good idea to make your images uh, or compress your images as much as possible without losing any quality, uh, visual quality of the image itself. This is half a megabyte, this is the file itself and it's way too large really to put on a website. So we're going to go to Google and we're going to type in image compression online and you're going to see various software that will do this online. Now you can do this through Photoshop or, or other image editing software but if you don't have them then you can use some online compression tools to do that and I'm going to be using this one here called compressjpeg.com so I'm going to click on the link it's going to take me through to the website and it's going to ask me to upload a file so I click on this file upload and then I'm going to select this same image that I've got on my desktop it's already in the right folder so I'm just going to click on this image here and click open and once I do that you can see <coughs> You can see that it's compressed the image and to view some more information about it you need to click on the picture itself so I'll click on it, you can see it says settings there and it's going to display the images below and it said the original was 520, 572 kilobytes and the compressed version is 120 and it's 79% smaller than the original file size so it's, you know, it's a dramatic um, decrease in file size but the image quality has been retained so what I'm going to do is zoom in quite close and we'll go to, yeah, you can see them side by side. You can see there's not much difference between the two images, but what you can do is compress it a bit more, I think. So we're going to move this slider down to around 80. And we're going to see a slight difference in the images themselves, but that's because we zoomed in quite closely. As, we, as and when we zoom out, you won't really see that much difference between the two. So we can... Now that I've set this to this quality to 80, um, we can click the apply button and it's going to recompress the image at the top here. We can see we've got it down to, by 86% now to 80 kilobytes. So we've gone from 572 all the way down to 80 kilobytes. And we're going to click on this download all. So you can upload many images here at the same time, but I've just, just done the one for now as an example. So I'm going to click download all and save. And then I'm going to drag this zip file into this folder here. We can close this now. We don't really need this uh, browser anymore. And in here I've got two files. So I need to unzip this file. Uh, if you're not familiar with zip files, you can check my web, you can check my YouTube page, and I've got a tutorial on 7-zip there. So you can check that if you want to know about um, unzipping files. And we're just going to click Extract here. So we'll extract the file from the zip file. And we can just get rid of this zip file, we don't really need it anymore. And here you can see two versions of the image. You've got the original one and then you've got the compressed version. And it's, they write dot, they write MIN at the end of the file name so that you know that it's the minimized file or the compressed file. So let's open up the original one and we'll have that on the left side. And then we can take the compressed version and we'll put that on the right side. And if we look at them side by side, there are going to be some slight differences. But in general, visually, they, they both still look very good. Uh, and that's the point of compression. We want to make the file smaller, but also retain as much quality as possible. Now, the big difference between these two is, obviously, this one's 572 kilobytes. And this one, we got all the way down to 79.7. Let's call it 80 kilobytes. So this file here on the right side, if we were to upload it to our website or use it in a blog post or put it on the homepage or do anything with this image on the internet, uh, it's going to load much, much, much quicker. It's going to load 80% quicker than this file here. And if you've got 20 pictures on your homepage, you can imagine how much quicker your homepage will load. And Google and other search engines really like websites that load fast basically they don't want slow loading websites they want ones that are going to load fast and one of the good techniques to use is to compress your images correctly in order for them to load quickly so i hope that's clear and 
if you've got any questions feel free to message me on Facebook uh, I'll put this on Facebook I'm gonna put this on YouTube uh, Google Plus uh, various social networks you can find my tutorials there just post me a little message if you've got any questions and I'll try and answer them for you look forward to seeing you on the next tutorial